Good morning, Grace Baptist Church. Blessings to you this day. Before I read our call to worship, I just want to give another quick announcement. It's the same announcement we've been announcing for the past few weeks. If you'd like to serve the church by coming by and helping us clean up, let us know via our church website. If you just go to the contact me page, put in your name, email, phone number, let us know the day and time you can come. And also let us know if you're coming by yourself or if you're bringing some help. And then we'll coordinate with you to make sure you can get into the church and you can clean. We'll have cleaning supplies, we'll have a checklist, all that will be there waiting for you. If for whatever reason you can't let us know via the church website, just give us a call. You can call me or Rianne or the deacons, and likewise, we'll get you on the schedule. So I just wanted to remind you all of that as we um, prepare our hearts today to come to the Lord. And so with that said, our call to worship is going to come from Psalm 46. Uh, I know I'm not the only person um, who, who has probably felt burdened and, 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 and who has a heavy heart with all that's been going on. Not just this week, but the past few weeks in our city, in our country. And so I feel like this psalm is very fitting as we try to prepare our hearts and come to the Lord today. We want to honor Him. We want to hear Him speak to us through His Word. And so hear the Word of the Lord and be comforted by it. Psalm 46. Here's what it says. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the hearts of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdom totters. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for, again, the life you've given us to to have breath in our lungs, to be able to see colors and hear sounds on this morning. And so, Father, we, we, we praise you for, for the opportunity to even come before you now in prayer. Father, we also praise you and thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, whom you sent to give us life and through whom you have reconciled us to yourself, Lord. Thank you for, for the mercy and grace you have shown us through him. Father, Many of us, myself included, Lord, our hearts are heavy. Lord, we feel weary as we look at all that is going on in our city, in our country, Lord. It seems like, like division is trying to creep in, Lord. It seems like fear is, is creeping in and, and slowly infecting uh, individuals everywhere, including your church, Father. Lord, would you remind us this morning that you are sovereign? Lord, would you remind us this morning that you continue to reign over all things, that nothing is outside of your, of your power, Lord, that none of this surprises you. Remind us, Lord, that you can use all things, all things, for the good of those who love you and who are called according to your purpose. Lord, you are our refuge. You are our strength. Father, may we believe that this morning and find rest in that truth this morning. Lord, nothing can separate us from your love. Lord, and, and we also see in your word that nothing will prevail upon your church. Father, that, that of course is, is my, Lord, my biggest fear that, that your church may grow weary and, and that division may threaten uh, your church 
Father, and, 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 and discouragement may threaten your church, and fear, Lord, I pray that you would remind all of us, including me today, that you are the one who builds your church. You are the one who sustains it on that solid rock that is Christ, our cornerstone, Lord. And the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. Lord, you are sovereign and you are good. And, and so even though we may be uh, burdened and, and our hearts are heavy and, and, and many, Lord, are, are mourning over what's going on, may we all all find comfort in you today and in your word and in the gospel of your son Jesus Christ soften our hearts so that we may be receptive to your word Lord help us to focus our minds Lord protect us from any discouraging thoughts from the evil one who may try to distract us as we seek to delight in you this morning father have your way with us today we pray in your son Jesus name and Lord do so for your glory and for the good of your people. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen.